Good morning. I am Dr. Lemper and I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, today I got a question from actually a patient of mine that's asking me how come one of my treatments works so well for her and for years she's been getting essentially ineffective treatments uh, for her condition. Uh, this individual has a, a very complex problem where there was a nerve that was injured and when the nerve that's injured is either undiagnosed or not really treated in the proper way, you can have a nerve syndrome that makes one angry nerve recruit a whole bunch of nerves. And this is what's caused a, 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 a complex regional pain syndrome. That's actually what it's called. Um, it's a syndrome where the pain itself can actually feed on itself and a little bit of stimulation can wind up this problem so bad that there's a feedback loop that you have to break or else this person is just constantly miserable and not only does it affect their personality, their interpersonal relationships, it starts to affect their hormones, it starts to affect how they feel about themselves and how they feel about other people. Um, fortunately I have patients that I have a very good relationship with because they know that I care. And part of that allows me some freedom to sometimes enter into arenas that haven't been entered before. This individual came to me with a problem because she had multiple ankle surgeries because she fractured her ankle and had pain on the medial malleolus or the inside ankle. No matter what treatment she had, the problem kept getting worse and she went to wonderful orthopedic surgeons that did a wonderful job fixing her fracture. But the pain was where her fracture was, but it wasn't coming from the fracture. And unfortunately this individual was involved in litigation, which meant that every step of the way that a doctor wanted to do something, it was analyzed, evaluated, and graded as to whether or not she could have that treatment done. Well. Because of that, she had ankle treatments and nobody ever figured, let's look at her low back and see if the low back itself is causing the ankle injury. This individual had to go to the point where she purchased her own MRI as I requested her to do. She got the results that she had a herniated disc pinching the L4 nerve and the L4 nerve terminates at your inside ankle. We had the ability to do shots on her and to make her temporarily better, but when I gave this girl steroids, she had no more than two to three days worth of relief, and then it came right back. So by the time I did the third steroid with her, I thought, I gotta do something different. I offered her surgery. She went to go see a surgeon. The surgeon thought that they could help, but said that because the nerve damage was going on for so long, he doesn't know or cannot guarantee her results. I had been delving into the arena of autologous stem cell therapy, which is essentially taking the stem cells from your blood. In my opinion, and in most medical research's opinion, your blood is the one main line to healing everything in your body that's wrong. From growing, to getting old, to falling apart. All of these things are controlled through two things. What you eat and your physical activity level. Those things trigger your body to be normal and to heal. When one of those things diminishes, a weakness opens up. So what I do is I train my patients how to be as healthy as possible internally and how they eat and their behaviors. Once I get them healthy, then I try to fix the pain problem through their own internal mechanisms by harvesting blood and taking the products out of the blood that heal and throwing away the products that actually cause scar tissue in the healing process. The body is simple. When you're not delivering something to the body that it needs, it hurts. As simple as when somebody does repetitive weightlifting, if you're not breathing right, you get a lactic acid buildup because you're deficient in oxygen and your body needs oxygen. So what does it do? 
It makes you fatigue that muscle because it hurts, restores blood th flow through the actual relaxation period. That new blood flow is possibly going into areas that are inflamed. And what happens when you inflame an area? The blood vessels dilate and more of the stuff in the blood leaks out of the blood vessel. So understanding the natural healing process helped me think, why am I messing with the body's ability to heal itself? We should just use that, facilitate it, figure out every way we can to improve your blood, to improve your own healing, because that's what's gonna fix you. Everybody needs to understand you're in complete control of your health. It's very difficult sometimes to afford to eat right, which is funny. You should be able to just grow it out in your backyard, but our soil full of benzene and crap like that because we've been using fossil fuels for such a long period of time that uh, we're damaging our planet. Uh, that's a whole complete other lecture that isn't even part of medicine, but it kind of is. So we have to understand the world that we live in. And when in Rome, you kind of have to be like a Roman, but you don't always have to believe it in your heart. And what I'm telling you now is every one of us has a way to fix ourselves. And my wonderful patient that asked me that question as to why my PRP therapy, when delivered in her back and delivered down the nerve in her leg, makes her feel almost completely normal for a period of time, sometimes up to a month. She stops taking her narcotic medications. But the problem is, nobody believes her. Nobody believes that we're making her better like this because I'm the only one doing it. There's a few other clinics around. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for about 10 years. I have doctors writing reports on this individual saying that she has a psychological disorder that makes her think she's better when I do the treatments. Um, I think this is pathetic what's happening to our state of medicine right now. And if doctors don't smarten up and get together, we're gonna to be overtaken by politicians. And we're gonna be doing things that seem right or seem politically correct that help other businesses and not help each other. So more than anything, I can say, I haven't got the answer to all of everybody's pain problems, but I'm on the right track. And I need everybody else helping me to stay on that track and to join me. So keep your questions coming. PRP and autologous stem cells fix almost everything in your body that needs to be fixed that you can heal. It is up to the doctor to diagnose where the origin of the problem is. Once we understand that, we can make almost every problem better. PRP delivers to the body what the body is asking for, what it's deficient of in a highly concentrated form. As well, it's not within the blood vessel, so it doesn't activate and wash away. You're injecting it into the area. The blood's trapped into the area, the blood product rather. And from that blood product, it calls more products from the circulating blood, and that's how you heal. If you have an ongoing insult, as this individual has an ongoing nerve impingement in her low back, the problem will have to be constantly maintained, or the, the, the therapy will have to be constantly maintained. We do have ways to make medicine better. They just don't make everybody a lot of money, but that's okay.